Welcome to Be In The World Yoga. I'm Christina and this is Beginner Yoga 102. Now we already started with Beginner Yoga 101. It's not too late to catch up. I'd love for you to watch that video before you move on to 102. Maybe work with it for about a week and then work with 102 for about a week. Then we'll move on to 103. So let's get started on this video. We're going to do a lot of yummy hip openers things that help us feel good in our legs, our front part of our body, and our chest. So let's get started. So last time we started our yoga practice standing up. This time we're gonna start seated on the floor. Now, if that doesn't feel too comfortable for you, maybe your knees are popping off off the floor, you might want to take a pillow or a bolster or a block, this is a block, and sit right on top of that. So I like to take my block and put it right under my sit bones and then let my legs just relax down. This also helps the spine lift up nice and tall and keeps the hip creases over the knees which gives you nice, good posture. So closing your eyes, we'll take the hands face down on top of the knees and just become centered. Just come into the space that you're in. Take a moment here to listen to the sounds around you. Beautiful. And we'll take three cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose, and exhale at a nice sigh through the mouth. Take that first inhale. <sighs> Beautiful, two more of those. <sighs> Letting go, inhale. <sighs> Gorgeous. Take a moment here to tune into the next three breaths with the lips gently closed, the muscles of the face soft, shoulders soft, legs soft. Notice the breath moving in and out through the nostrils. Feel free to smile at any time throughout your practice. It helps soften your heart. It also helps to soften the muscles of your face, believe it or not. They say that it takes more muscles to create a frown than it does to create a smile. Listening to the breath. Keeping those shoulders nice and relaxed. The thighs nice and relaxed, the feet relaxed. Taking another inhale, fill up the belly with breath. So now sending and directing the breath into the belly. Exhale, soften the shoulders, soften the legs. Take another breath. Inhale, the crown of the head lifts up towards the sky, creating some nice space between the vertebrae. And exhale, soften. Two more times. Calming the muscles of the face, calming the mind. Beautiful. We'll take palms together at our heart center, creating what's called Anjali Mudra, this connection of left and right side body. Looks like a little prayer at our heart. So you can take this moment to create what's called an intention for your practice. Maybe something you'd like to devote your practice to. It could be you. It could be someone else. It could be something you'd like to offer yourself or let go of. And we'll open our practice with the gentle sound of OM. Taking an inhale. Oh. Take 
take your thumbs to your third eye. Bow inward towards yourself, respecting yourself and your practice. And flutter your eyes open. Take the hands down. And if you'd like to, you can remove the block now or any kind of prop that you have underneath you. We'll do a little stretch, a little opening stretch here. Inhale, reach your arms out and up overhead. Clasp the hands together. And then turning the palms up towards the sky. Take a nice inhale, pressing the heels up of the hands up towards the sky and drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe you keep the chin parallel to the ground or maybe you take the gaze to look up to the sky. Take three breaths here. Maybe you're going to wiggle a little bit, reaching side to side a little bit. Beautiful. Take one more inhale. Press the palms of the hands up and exhale. Soften the hands down. We're going to clasp them behind the back, intertwining the fingers. Take an inhale. Roll the shoulders up and back behind you. You can reach your hands back behind you with the hands in a gentle fist together. And you can gaze at one point on the floor. Maybe you wanna look up towards the sky just to open up the throat and the chest here. Your choice, we're drawing the shoulder blades closer towards one another. So take three breaths here. Beautiful. And softening the shoulders, take the hands out to the side, a little side stretch. Lift that left arm up and over. Beautiful. Inhale, other side. Exhale. Beautiful. And then taking the hands down. We're going to come on to hands and knees. So have your props out to the side off of your mat. Perhaps your knees feel a little bit tender on the floor. A couple of things you can do. One is you can take a blanket and put it underneath your knees. Or if you don't have a blanket or towel, you can roll up your mat, double it up a little bit here, and place your knees right on top of your mat like so. Okay. I have a nice rug here, so I don't really need any cushion underneath the knees, but usually I do. So taking your hands onto the floor, shoulder width apart, check your knees, make sure they're hips distance apart, and look at your hands. Start to spread the fingers away from each other. Pointer fingers can point up towards the top of your mat. Don't overstretch the thumbs away from the rest of your fingers, because that can cause a little pain between the thumb and the pointer finger. And just gently pressing your hands into the ground. Keep your spine nice and long for a moment here. Take an inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Press the pads of your fingers into the ground. And we'll take a couple of rounds of cat-cow. So from here, gently pressing the hands into the ground. Take an inhale. And exhale, we're going to round the spine, tailbone reaches down towards the floor, and the head drops. Let your head hang right off the shoulders here. The hands are still pressing into the ground. Take an inhale. <laughs> hands are still pressing into the ground. Now inhale, draw the shoulders back, and peel your heart open. So your tailbone is going to start to point up towards the sky, drawing the shoulders back, sending the chest forward. Exhale, pressing the hands into the ground, round the spine, tailbone reaches down, let your head go. Inhale, draw the heart forward again. So you can do this with the eyes open or closed, connecting breath to movement. With every inhale, we want to open up and stretch the front part of our body. With every exhale, we're going to round and stretch the back part of our body. Two more rounds. One more round. Beautiful. And you're going to inhale yourself 
back to center, back to tabletop position. From here, we're going to give our spine a little bit of stretch, a uh, lateral stretch it's called. Going to send the left hips up toward the left shoulder and look back behind you on the left side. Breathe into the right side body, so the right side rib cage. Take three breaths here. Pressing the pointer, the fingers into the ground. Beautiful. Bring your hips back to center. Right hip moves up towards the right shoulder. Breathe into the left side body. You can look back behind you. Beautiful. Bringing yourself back to center. Let's warm up the backs of the legs. Step the right foot back behind you. Make sure you have enough space there. Come onto the ball of that foot and reach through your heel. Take three breaths, sending the breath all the way to the heel of your right foot. So you're pushing the front part of your mat away from you, also with the hands. And one more beautiful breath here. And exhale, knee to the ground. Send the left foot back behind you. Same thing, reaching through the heel. So you might feel a nice, glorious stretch in the calf muscles. Calf muscles often get neglected. And that is a shame because that kind of pain can actually radiate up into your spine. That's something, something to think about, stretching the bottom of the feet and the calf muscles. Taking your knees down to the ground, we're going to come into a nice puppy pose. So puppy pose is like a half downward facing dog. Notice how the hips are going to stay over the knees, and you're just going to walk your hands forward towards the top of your mat, still spreading your fingers. Take an inhale, reach your heart forward, and exhale, start to take your head down towards the ground. Keep reaching your hands forward. Maybe your elbows come off of the mat. And we'll take a few breaths here, opening up the front part of our body, the chest. Beautiful. So the more you practice this pose, the more flexible you'll become in this pose. Maybe the chin will want to come to the ground. You can see if that feels comfortable now, if you like. Take a few more rounds of breath. And then let's start to rise on up. Walk your hands nice and slowly back underneath the shoulders. And we are going to tuck the toes. I'm going to take our knees underneath our hips as they still are, shoulders underneath over the wrists here, spread through your fingers, and we're gonna prepare to lift up into downward facing dog. So first take your knees off the ground, take an, an inhale, and exhale, send your hips up to the sky and back, floating the heels down towards the floor. Situate your feet to where it feels comfortable. So the toes should be slightly pointed inward, just slightly, very tiny, unnoticeable amount. But the heels should not be pointing in towards one another. So make sure your heels are in behind your feet, that you can't see your heels here. Maybe you're going to walk your feet to the edges of the mat, or maybe you're going to bend the knees. Start to press the hands into the ground and start to pedal out one foot at a time, letting the left knee bend and the right. Just moving, warming up the back part of your leg again. Use the breath. Pressing the front part of your mat away from you with the hands. Beautiful. And then coming back to center, take both heels towards the ground. Pressing your hands into the ground, inhale and lift the heels up off of the floor. Exhale. 
start to bend your knees and take your belly towards the top of your thighs. Make sure your head is nice and loose this whole time. Take another inhale, sending the hips up and back. You can send your pubic bone up and back too. And exhale, heels down towards the floor. Sending those hips up and back is gonna send some of the weight towards the back part of this yoga pose. So towards the heels. Beautiful, so that everything is not hanging in the arms. Keep pressing the pointer fingers, or I'm sorry, the tips of your fingers into the ground. And of course, point your fingers into the ground. Take another inhale and exhale. Slowly start to walk your feet to the top of the mat, hanging in a nice Uttanasana, standing forward fold. So you may hear me start to use more of the Sanskrit terms as we move on in our beginner yoga, yoga series. Letting your head go, you may notice that the back of the legs are feeling tight. If that's so, start to bend the knees and take the belly on top of the thighs. You can have your eyes open or closed here. Grab onto the insides of your elbows. Let your head hang and take a few breaths. Beautiful. Take an inhale and exhale. Let's let the hands drop down to the floor. We're going to inhale, start to straighten up the legs here. Exhale, release the head, neck, and shoulders. Very important in this pose, you want to let go of the head. We often have the tendency of scrunching up the back of the neck in this pose. We want to let that go. Let your head just dangle right towards the floor. Beautiful. Two more breaths here. Start to send your weight into the balls of your feet, the front part of your feet, as well as the heels of your feet. Gorgeous. And from here, we're going to inhale to a flat back. So fingertips are going to be underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift up your spine nice and long. Start to draw the shoulders back and peel your heart open. Now, if that feels like way too much, you can take blocks underneath your hands, coming to the height that feels comfortable for you. It may be this height. It may be the middle height. Beautiful. Take two more breaths here, stretching your heart forward and drawing your shoulders back. Exhale, fold over the legs. Start to soften your knees again, bending your hips down towards the ground. And from here, inhale. We're gonna roll up the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Take the tailbone down, rolling up. Keep the chin tucked into the chest. Gorgeous. It's like you just gave yourself a little massage there. Beautiful. So now we're going to come to the top of our mat if you're not there yet. Take your feet, hips distance apart, spread through the toes, pinky toe down to the big toe, balls of the feet pressing into the ground, heels of the feet pressing into the ground, and lift up through the inner arches of your feet. Beautiful. Again, that's sending that nice line of energy all the way up to the crown of the head. And from here, start to engage the thighs. Lifting up the kneecaps, strengthening the thighs here. Allow them to draw in towards one another. Beautiful. And from here, inhale the shoulders up and back behind you. Turn open the palms. I feel a little bit that I'm at an angle here, <laughs> so I'll shift myself. Beautiful. Inhale, arms reach out and up overhead. If you'd like, look between the hands. And exhale, hinge out your hips, long spine to a forward fold. Let yourself pour over the legs here. Let your head hang again. Remember that head should be pointing down towards the ground. Inhale to a flat back, send your heart forward. And exhale, hands to the floor, step your right foot back behind you. So we're coming into a little bit of a different way to do a sun salutation. This is classic sun. So taking your right knee down to the ground, if you would like, if this feels more comfortable, you can take blocks underneath your hands here. Heel toe your left foot so that 
you have enough space between your legs here, maybe your belly wants to come, it needs a little bit more space here. Take a few breaths. Now we're opening up the right hip. Beautiful. We're going to take our hands right up onto the left knee. As we come up, our hips are going to go over the right knee. Start to take your tailbone down towards the floor and lift up, lifting up your hips here. Beautiful. You're going to want to take the low belly and reach it up towards your heart when we're doing this next posture, which is called Anjanayasana. Okay, this is a half or a low lunge a low lunge is what it's called. <laughs> Beautiful. And from here, we're going to inhale the arms up towards the sky. Beautiful. Now, this feels like too much. Just keep your hands on your hips. Maybe you want to have them on the knees. Take an inhale. And exhale. Start to send your hips forward. So now we're really starting to open up in the right thigh here. Take three breaths as you gaze at one point ahead of you. Energize your fingertips up to the sky and exhale. Hands come down to the ground. Take your hands right onto the mat and we're going to take the left knee to meet the right knee. Beautiful. From here, we'll come into plank pose. Start to lift the knees up off the ground. Inhale your heart forward and exhale. Knees come back down onto the ground. Bend the elbows, lower your heart all the way down towards the floor. Point your toes. Take the tailbone into the floor, down towards the floor, and inhale, peel your heart up off of the floor. Gaze forward. Remember, you should be able to take your hands off the floor here, just so that you're using the muscles of your upper back. And exhale, tuck the toes, come on to the knees, and lift up and back to downward facing dog. You can shake out your head here to loosen up any tension. breathing. Beautiful. So this next thing that we're going to do is optional. So it's an inhale to take the right leg up to the sky. That's the optional thing. <laughs> Exhale, pull your right knee into the belly. Start to hover in a three-legged plank and send your right foot towards your right thumb taking the left knee down to the floor. Now if that felt very challenging to get there, or you haven't gotten there yet, just coming from downward facing dog, you can take the left knee onto the ground and drag the right leg forward. Beautiful. So now we're gonna do Anjanayasana on the left side, that nice, beautiful hip opening. So from here, you can already set yourself up with the blocks. Letting yourself soften into the hips for a couple of breaths. Beautiful. Start to press through your right foot to come up. Hands go on top of the knees. Take the tailbone down towards the floor, lifting up the low belly. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. And exhale, soften into that front hip. Remember, tailbone still reaching down towards the floor. As the heart lifts up, maybe your gaze is pointed up towards the sky or maybe straight ahead. Take two more breaths. Squeeze your thighs inward towards one another, towards the midline of your body. Beautiful. Exhale, your hands come down towards the floor. You're going to start to send your weight onto your right foot. Completely have your hands on the floor and come onto the ball of the back foot. Step both feet together at the top of the mat, coming into a nice Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Gorgeous. Soften your knees, tailbone drops towards the floor, and inhale up to a flat back. Arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, prayer down the center line. Beautiful. So we'll do that on the other side. Classic sun salutation. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. 
Beautiful. Exhale, hinging at the hips, fold forward. Let your upper body round over the lower body. Inhale to a flat back. And exhale, hands to the floor. Step the left foot back behind you. Drop the left knee down to the floor. Remember, you can take blocks here if you like. Going to come right on up, pressing the hands into the right leg. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky or stay on the leg. Take three breaths. Inhale, lift up your heart. And exhale, soften into Anjanayasana. One more nice inhale. Beautiful. Exhale. Hands to the floor. You'll step back to plank pose. So reach that leg all the way back behind you. Take an inhale. Reach your heart forward. Exhale. Knees to the ground. Bend the elbows and let them skim the sides of your body as you lower the heart to the floor. Point the toes. Inhale. Peel the heart up. Exhale. Press the hands into the floor. Come on to the knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Walking yourself into the comfortable downward dog of your choice. Taking a few breaths. Pressing your hands into the floor. Beautiful. Inhale, left leg reaches up to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee into the belly and send that left foot towards the left hand. Or if you like, if you have to drag your leg there with your arm, totally fine. Exhale, right knee comes down to the ground. Take hands right on top of the left thigh. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky or stay on the front leg. Take three breaths here. Tailbone reaching down towards the floor. Low belly lifting. And exhale, hands to the floor. Send the weight onto the front foot. Step both feet together. Forward fold. Inhale to the flat back. Exhale, fold again. You can soften the knees here. Drop the tailbone. Inhale, arms reach out towards the sides. Reverse swan diving. Hands come up overhead. Exhale, prayer right down through center leg. Take a moment here. Close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Notice your breath. Notice any sensations in the body that you're feeling. Becoming present and aware of them, but without critiquing them. Just noticing how you feel. Trying to keep a positive mindset and encouraging self-love towards yourself. Gorgeous. <laughs> Open up your eyes. Take your hands out and up. Nice big inhale. And exhale, hinging at your hips to a nice forward fold. Inhale to flat back. And exhale, hands to the floor. Step your right foot back behind you. This time we're coming up into warrior one. So we'll take our right heel down towards the floor. Check out your front foot and your back foot. They should be hips distance apart from each other. So heel toe your foot over if it feels like your feet are in line with each other. You don't want that right now. You want them hips distance apart. So beautiful. From here, take your hands onto your left leg. Gorgeous. Take your tailbone down towards the floor. Lift up your heart. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Take three breaths here. We're reaching through the heel of our back foot. We're sending our left knee forward over our left ankle, energizing the right thigh, pulling the left thigh into the socket. Take one more inhale and exhale. Sweep your hands down to the floor. Step back to plank pose, shoulders over the wrist. Press the tips of the fingers into the ground. Take an inhale 
and exhale, knees to the floor, lower your heart down, point the toes, inhale up to baby cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. Pressing your hands into the ground, sending your sit bones up and back. Gorgeous. Inhale your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, pull the knee into the belly. Send the right foot towards the right thumb. Turn your back heel down. Toes should be pointed towards the left corner of your mat. Right foot can move out to the side a little bit and press the right foot into the floor. Inhale, rise on up. Warrior one. Take three breaths here. Reaching through the heel of the back foot, sending the right knee forward. Soften at your hips. Feel the thighs move in towards one another. That's gonna seal the foundation for you. Take another inhale. Beautiful, exhale, hands to frame the front foot and send your weight onto your right foot. Step both feet together, forward fold, shake out the head here. Gorgeous, inhale, arms reach up to the sky, palms come together, exhale, prayer down the center line. Beautiful, beautiful work there. So we did a couple of sun salutations and found out what Warrior One was all about. And as you can see, I'm a little bit out of breath myself. So right now would be, of course, a good time to drink some water, which I'll do right now. We could do it together. Mm -mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, from here, let's come to either the front of your mat or the middle of your mat. Gonna take our feet hips distance apart. Inhale, lift the shoulders up and back behind you. Clasp your hands, rolling your shoulders back and bringing the shoulder blades, blades closer to one another. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, melt the shoulders away from the ears. Take a few breaths here. Let's gaze our eyes at one point. Keep your knees soft. So you might want to notice, am I a person that locks my knees? I know that I am. So I always have to tell myself to soften my knees here. This way I'm really using the muscles of my legs instead of just hanging out in the joints. Beautiful. Now you could stay here continuing to reach the shoulders back. Or if you'd like, you could take your feet a little bit wider and take a little forward fold, hinging at your hips. Maybe your arms are gonna reach up and over. And taking a few breaths here, letting your head hang right off of the neck, the neck hang right off of the shoulders. Beautiful, soften your knees, tailbone reaches down, roll up your spine to come all the way up. Gorgeous. We'll come into a little side stretch here. Inhale the arms up to the sky. Grab onto your left wrist. And from here, we're going to reach up and over towards our right side. Take a few breaths here. Beautiful. We're going to switch to the other side, grabbing onto the right wrist, inhale up and over. Take a few breaths here. Gorgeous, rise on up, take the hands down. Oh, roll out the shoulders here, jiggle out a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna come all the way onto our belly now. So come onto hands and knees and then scoot your belly all the way on to the floor. We'll point the toes, take the hands back behind, and you could start off with your head on the floor. Take your tailbone, pressing it down towards the floor. The ground, reach your toes back behind you, lifting up the knees and the shins. 
reaching for your fingers. The back of the neck is nice and long. So the tendency is that the chin is gonna come up and we're gonna look forward. This doesn't do anything except hurt the back of the neck here. So keep the back of the neck nice and long and straight here. Beautiful, take two more breaths. One more breath. Exhale, lower down, take the hands one on top of another. Take your right ear to your hands, soften your glutes, close your eyes. Shake out the hips a little bit here. Beautiful. And then bringing your head back to center, reach your fingertips back behind you and reach your toes back behind you. Send your tailbone down towards the floor and inhale, peel the heart up off the floor. Take a few breaths, back of the neck is nice and long. So you can take three to five breaths here before you come down. Lifting up your thighs, energizing the legs here energizing the upper back, the mid back, and the lower back. And two more breaths for me. And lowering down, take one hand on top of another. Take your left ear over your left elbow, your hands here. Melting your body into the ground, softening the sits bones, the thighs, the feet. Beautiful. We're going to do this one more time. So taking your hands back behind you towards the feet, point the toes, inhale, peel the heart up off the ground. Take now three, five, or seven breaths here. Nice long inhale. We're always locking in with the breath. So if your mind ever feels distracted, use that breath. If you ever feel like you want to give up, use the breath. Beautiful, lowering down, taking the hands one on top of another. You can take your forehead now right to your hands, soften your shoulders, letting the breath flow in and out. Let's start to lift up here. Take your hands underneath your shoulders. Come on to the knees. And we're gonna sit right back onto our heels here. Come to tucking your toes here. So now you're a little bit high up. This can be a little bit painful for some of us. So you stay here as long as you want, as long as it feels comfortable for you. But this is great because it's gonna open up the back of your foot and also that Achilles tendon here that attaches the um, calf muscles into the foot. So from here, facing and gazing forward here, gazing at one point, let's draw the shoulder blades back together. If that's, by the way, starts to feel uncomfortable, you can take your feet down towards the ground, maybe even sitting on a block, okay? And we'll grab our hands back together, clasping the hands, rolling the shoulders back, and gazing forward. Take a few breaths here, giving yourself a nice chest opening. So one of the things that a doctor once told me um, was that I can do this stretch every 20 minutes because it helps to open up your chest. It helps to... Um, 
relax some of the pain that might happen in the upper back and get rid of slumping of the shoulders here. So I thought that was a pretty awesome thing that you can do it every 20 minutes. That means anytime you think of it, you can do it. <laughs> Take a few more breaths. Beautiful. Release the shoulders. Now we're going to come into pigeon pose. A nice relaxing pose that's supposed to be really good for the piriformis muscle. If you have piriformis syndrome, this might be a great pose for you. Of course, always check with your doctor first. So we're going to take our right knee towards the right hand. And we'll start to scooch the right ankle towards the left hand. So as much as it feels comfortable. Now we'll start to take the left foot back behind you. And starting to get that left thigh towards the ground. Now you may be very high. If that's the case, you can take a block underneath your hip here and keep your hands on the floor. You can also take a rolled up blanket and keep it there too. Another option is that you just kind of lean on to the right side and let that left leg bend a little bit as you come down towards the ground. Beautiful. So from here, taking a nice inhale, exhale, start to lower towards the ground. Take one hand on top of another and take your forehead right on top of the hands. Take a few breaths here. You should feel a beautiful opening in the right hip and possibly the right IT band. And this time you can notice the breath here. Try to still keep your mind focused on the breath to let go of the distractions of the mind. Maybe, you know, what I have to do next is going to pop into my mind, but I'm going to let that go by focusing on my breath. So taking those inhales and exhales. Settling into the pose. And you can stay in this pose a little bit longer if you like. We're going to start to come out of it. So starting to take the hands underneath the shoulders. Take your left leg out to the side and swing it to the front. Now we're going to take leave that left leg forward, start to shift the weight onto the left side, and send the right leg back behind. So you're going to shimmy that right foot up, take the hands underneath the shoulders, take a nice inhale, and exhale, start to lower down. So you're going to do the same thing on this side that you did on the other side. Maybe you're putting a block underneath the hip, a blanket, or leaning over with the back leg bent. And we'll take a few breaths here, letting yourself settle into this pose. Of course, you can notice that there's areas of tightness and perhaps resistance. So use the breath to ask those areas to calm down. Perhaps notice that they're fine. Just like telling your body, you're fine, don't worry. You can let go, you can relax. Use your breath. Using the breath, it allows us to 
melt a little bit deeper into this pose. And take two more breaths here. Beautiful. Take the hands underneath the shoulders. Start to guide your way up and take that right leg forward. <sighs> We're going to end it with a little bit of Shavasana. So Shavasana is what's known as corpse pose. <laughs> it's got a nice little creepy name. Totally fine. We'll call it do nothing pose. So we're taking our backs all the way onto the floor, taking our feet to the edges of our mat. I'm already in my Shavasana here. Turn your palms up. So now the hands are actually going to come off of the mat here. Palms are going to face up. You're going to have a nice amount of space between you and your arms here. Keeping your eyes closed. We're going to let ourselves melt and soften into the ground. We'll take a nice inhale and let out a nice sigh. <sighs> now start to notice the breath rising and falling in the belly. I'm going to take you through this Shavasana. We'll start off by letting go of the toes softening them, softening the feet, the tops of the feet, the shins, and the calves. Relax the knees and the back of the knees, the top of your thighs, and the bottom of your thighs. Soften the hips and the glutes. Soften the pelvis, the front and the back. Softening the belly, the sides of your waist and your low back. Softening the mid back the low ribs in the front part of your body, your chest, your upper back, your shoulders, the top part of your arms, your forearms. Soften the wrists. hands and the fingers, the throat softens the front part of your neck and the back part of your neck. Softening the chin and the jaw, releasing the jaw and letting it unhinge here. Soften the cheeks of your face. Soften your nose and your eyes. Noticing the back of the eye sockets and allowing them to soften. Soften the ears and soften the forehead. Soften the space between the eyebrows. And softening the crown of your head and the back of your head. And 
feeling your whole body nice and soft, deepening into the ground. Becoming wonderfully heavy. Nothing to do here. Just receive. starting to send three deep breaths into the belly, letting the exhales wash over you. Start to wiggle out the fingers, wiggle out your toes. And if you have space, stretch the arms up overhead. Stretch your toes in the opposite direction. Beautiful. And start to take yourself over towards your right side. So coming into the fetal position on your right side, taking a moment to rest before whatever the day has in store for you. And we'll press the left hand into the ground to rise up into a seated cross-legged position. Take a moment here to notice how you feel. And open up your palms to receive all the wonderful gifts that the universe has to offer you. We'll seal our practice with the sound of Om. Inhaling your palms to heart center. We can inhale again. Oh. The light in me is honored by the light in you. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing in your yoga practice with me today. And please remember to share, like, and comment, and also subscribe to us on our YouTube page so that we can give you more wonderful content like this. And also, please check out our website, beintheworldyoga.com. We have a great blog there and just wonderful information to share with you. Have a nice day. Namaste.